Hello, welcome back to Brassic Classics. Um, this is another video about the Audi A4 project car with the slightly broken gearbox. Um, in today's video, what I'm hoping to do is get the new leather interior fitted. Um, I've also found the code for the gearbox. It's a KTS automatic transmission. Um, so if anyone's got one or knows of one that's around that works, I'd appreciate it because mine doesn't work. Um, also in today's video, I'm hoping to pick up a set of alloy wheels. So pretty much, apart from the uh, gearbox, the car will be finished. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so just picked up four brand new wheels. And if anyone wonders why I'm keeping the A6 and selling the A4, that's why. How many cars can you get four other wheels in the boot? Okay, so progress today is going quite well. I've uh, just picked up my new set of wheels. Give you a quick glimpse of them there. So my new wheels, put them on later. Um, I've just finally managed to remove the rear seats, which you can see behind me. They're a bit of a nightmare. Compared to the front, the front are just four belts. Um, yeah, I just couldn't work out how to get them out. Anyway, I'll bring you in and show you. There's one tiny little screw you have to remove and a little clamp and then they four to come out. Um, but you live and learn, this is cars, this is how you have to, you have to work through the process. Anyway, let's have a look at the, uh, the offending bracket. Okay, so here's the back of the car. Obviously, minus rear seat. Um, and it's actually quite simple, really, when you actually know what you're doing, which I didn't. So here, you obviously have the 60-40 split, sits here, and this little bracket sits in that screw there. Remove the screw, pull the bracket forward, and the balls that sit on the side of the seats sit in this groove. So obviously, once you remove that, you can just pull them out, and out come your rear seats, nice and easy. Um, you don't need to undo any of these, which I had already started to do, thinking the whole bracket came out. Um, but as I say, you live in that. I couldn't find anything on YouTube about this. So now I'm going to put it all back together. Wish me luck. Okay, so it's now about four o'clock. Um, I've finished the interior, it's in. Um, so now I've just got to fit the wheels, but I'll give you a quick look at the interior now. It's a massive improvement. It really does make a big difference. Um, I've given it a quick clean. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, so here's the brand new leather interior and it looks awesome into the back yeah it does make a big difference as you can see and I'm uh, very happy with it now all that's left is to sort out the wheels Okay, so that's one side done. As you can see, they look much better than obviously steel wheels. Um, I'm gonna get the other side done and then take you in for a quick look at the whole lot. It's getting dark, so I thought I'd do this now. Anyway, um, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Okay, so there it is. It's pretty much six o'clock now. The wheels are on and they look lovely. Really do make a big difference to this car. And um, take a car that looked a bit tired and bring it right into, you know, what it should be, really. Let's go and have a look at the other side quickly. I've shown you the interior already. As I said, it is six o'clock, so it's getting dark. There you have it. Bonnet's open, it's not a crash damage. Yes, yeah, so there you go, brand new. Um, by the way, these are from a uh, Audi TT Mark II. These wheels are 17 inch. And I was fortunate enough to get a set of um, two grills with them. A modified front grill and a standard front grill for an Audi TT Mark II. So if anyone's interested in those, I'll um, put them in a video soon. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to Brassic Classics. I'll see you again when we find a gearbox.